Hmm, what do we have here? Da da! It is a Joby Gorilla Pod SLR Zoom plus the ball head. So let's go ahead and have a look at the packaging here. Not much, a little bit on the back there. 3kg limit. Shows you how to kind of mount it to miscellaneous things, which is the reason I actually picked it up. Especially that one at the bottom there. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside. So a little bit of instructions on uh, how to set it up. And you can actually mount multiple types of things to the top without using the ball head. You can use more expensive mounts at the top. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's the side profile. And you can put this in a lot a lot of positions. So it's got a little clip to release the, the slide there that you can mount to the bottom of your camera. Is the bottom. So I use, I've been using a coin to kind of tighten it up. The ball head is the best part about it. You can do portrait, you can do landscape. Pretty awesome little thing. And it's, it's not that expensive either. It's only 30 something bucks. Got the little octopus stance going on right here. And here, um, I, I kind of saw uh, one of my favorite filmmakers, I guess, or vloggers, um, Casey Neistat. He kind of uses this kind of curved uh, approach to actually mount, mounting and, and holding the camera so it doesn't look like you're, you're, you're doing a selfie. So that's pretty cool. It's one of the main reasons that and being able to mount it to actually things to do uh, time lapse and uh, record video and stuff like that. And here I have my uh, Sony A5000 mounted to it. And this is the actual, uh, what would you call that, portrait style. And there's a better look at it on the left side. There we go. The level is very important if your camera doesn't have levels. And of course, it'll take anything. I threw my GoPro on here just to kind of show you what it looks like with the GoPro uh, tripod mount kit. And this is the kind of stuff I really want to do. I want to do some, some time lapse type stuff, which I've already been experimenting with. So I got this kind of, I don't know what you call it, fastened to or hanging on to my uh, porch out back in a portrait, what, portrait style. And then this next, this next style here, I actually have it in the landscape style. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. There you go. With the level right there. So it uh, turned out really good. And it's really simple. Just This thing is so flexible. You can kind of pretty much mount it to anything, you know, like shopping carts, probably bicycle, handlebars, car seat things, and dashboards and stuff. But uh, for the price, it's something you really got to have in your kit. And I'm getting ready to go to Japan, so I wanted to have this in my kit. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And thumbs up, of course. Peace and aloha.